What's up, folks? Samurai King and is here today to talk about and review the new episode of Hunter x Hunter 2011, episode 134. The title of this episode, The Word Is That Someone. Just watched it. Loved it. Loved it. But before I get into that, got a bit of news. Two things. One anime related, one sports related. Congratulations to the San Antonio Spurs for winning the NBA championship. <laughs> uh, I live in Houston, big basketball fan. Um, sad that the Rocks couldn't get a taste, get a crack at them, but hey, that's how it is. And a piece of news we got anime wise Hunter Hunter DX. Oh, I'm sorry, oh my lord. <laughs> High School DXD Season 3 been confirmed. So, you guys want you guys are into that Harlem King stuff? You're gonna see some. So, this is our bit of news I got today for that. And now, time to get to the really review because you you see how good the fucking episode was. If I'm fucking confusing it with other stuff, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 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 let's get into it. Uh, Cause I got a few stuff to do later on today, so I want to do this, and I'm gonna try to do it quickly. But uh, uh, from all the stuff I wrote down from the episode, shit. <laughs> And I read the manga too, and I wrote all this shit down from the episode. So, fuck it. Alright, let's get on to it. So, when the episode first come on, we see uh, the symbolism that we saw last week with the ants eating the um, cockroach corpse, and the human comes stepping on the on the uh, ants and crushing the corpse too. And it's you know, that's sim symbolic, saying that humans are worse than ants. These are chimera ants, and actually ants themselves too. Saying we are the worst species on earth. There are people saying, like, like, we have the worst mentality of Every species is on Earth right now, uh, and also we also see uh, a further detail of that with the images that we saw, like when we saw. Um, uh, well, you know what this remind me of for re really? It remind me of uh, I can't remember the exact name of. It. Is it the chapter Black Tape or uh, something like that from Yu Yu Hakusho? Like this is probably what was on that tape, something like this, because it says for what I saw there. That little uh, images we saw before the episode started was all of humanity's crimes against each other. Like greed, murder, death, war, cruelty, racism, and all of that. And so, um, that, was, that was showing how, how we're, we're evil. They were saying. Now, now Togashi's not just saying, oh, I hate humanity. Like that. He ain't saying that. Just, just for entertainment. But it's very symbiotic. And trying to stimulate your mind. Like, wow, we are really kind of fucked up. It's, it's, it's used to kind of put a mirror in front of us saying, saying hey, we're not just God's gift. We, we have our own problems, too. Every species has its own problems. But this just shows that not, not no race, species is perfect. So, yeah. That's it like that. Then, so, we get on to the explanation of the mental roles. And... It explains, it says, when a mental rose blooms or uh, blossoms, it creates poison. And uh, the poisons, uh, well, it's for people who survive, who are unfortunate enough to survive the explosion. If they, when they breathe in that poison, it, um, okay, when they breathe it in, they get poison. It, it slowly eats at your, um, at your body and it slowly destroys your organs. And also, that's why uh, the guy's been coughing up blood and stuff, like UP. The Miriam and uh, uh, Poof, while all them been coughing on blood and stuff. But also, what it says too, which I'm trying to figure out too. Um, it, it, okay, the the people who are infected infected with this poison, they also emit new poisons. So um, that's that explains why UP and Poof are poison. But it, it but but shouldn't it affect Knuckle and um? Um, um, million run because they were right there with them in the room. Well, maybe not. It probably doesn't affect it that much because they weren't they weren't breathing in heavy doses. They could have knocked out. I guess that's one thing I, I gotta say. But 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 we'll, but that that all be changed be uh, be talked about later on, like in the series. Um, so the next thing is I want to say about the mental roles. It creates a chain of death from what I saw. So yeah, then we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna now we get into the actual episode. And we talk, and we see Miriam and Poof still talking, and we, and we also see Poof trying to hide that he caught the blood from uh, Miriam when Mary Mary sees right through him, and he said, uh, I, uh, uh, even though I see right through him, he's still not telling the secret. So and Miriam like, 
Okay, I really want to know what the secret is about now. And, uh, oh my lord. And when Miriam did that fucking in again, it just, it just, it just looks godlike. It looks beautiful. The animation for that looks beautiful. This, the animation for these last few episodes has been just amazing. I'm just, I'm sorry. It's just been amazing. Madhouse has been, they deserve a props for this shit, man. Like, even when Poof is just standing there and you see his wings just changing colors just for no fucking reason. It just looks amazing. It looks beautiful. You know, I don't like that motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, it is, it's is another little problem that I had too with them. They just stopped giving a fuck about Yuppie. They, they more into finding Poof than Yuppie dead. They're like, damn, Yuppie dead. I mean, of course, you, what they do, grieve for the ants and stuff. So, but, I mean, they just shouldn't just not give a fuck about the dude. The dude, Put in extra work for them, and they like. Okay, I remember when Pooh first told the king, "Say, hey, uh, uh, Yuppie, I think he's dead. Uh, oh, Yuppie has died." And he's like, "Oh, okay. Did you find P two? I'm like, damn, why he ain't even? I don't know. Well, wait, about that. Uh, so now, um, we just we get over, it. and now we see that when uh the king does the nin again, uh, in again, he finds Welfin. <laughs> And oh boy, did, did that shit get funny with Wilfin. Oh boy, Wilfin. And I gotta give props to his voice actor. His voice actor played that role just great. He was just loud and like, oh, and like, he just fear. Like, you could feel the fear come from this dude's voice. And it was just, just great. I just loved it because it, it just gives you that extra feeling from the manga. Because the manga, ugh, the manga, it, 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 it's, it's, uh, art wise, no. No, no, no good. If you want, if you want to see art, if you, if you only judge a series off his art, you're gonna hate Hunter Hunter. Because I kid, I shit you not, I shit you not. When the beginning of this um episode happened in the manga, it was just like this. It was like this. It had this how it looked. So a bunch of words and the pictures and shit like that. Like like when, especially when uh Gone first stopped giving a fuck about uh uh um about his life and wanted to kill P two. That's really when it when it looked just horrible. But but we ain't talking the manga right now. It's talking about the anime. It, it, it's great anime. And how it, it how it just overshadows the manga in terms of the art and how it makes you feel when you actually see it. And that, that, that goes with all animes who represent the manga really good. So, yeah. So, next, we see that, okay, uh, Wilfin, why is he why he's still there? Because you, you would think, like, okay, why is Wilfin there? He, he, was, in, he was in a truck. And he could have had two options. He could have kept going to get out of there. Cause he told well actually he had, he had to wait for her. he technically did have to wait because he had to tell a uh, royal guard or the king about the message and he told the royal guard the royal guard died so he technically should have stayed there to com uh, complete his mission but for his own sake he should have got the fuck about it though <laughs> but uh, it helped out everybody that he they stayed there uh, not maybe not himself but hey so yeah so the king blitzes over there to where he is and. Uh, Wilfin like, oh my god, he's like, where the fuck did he come from? Like, he just like just appeared in front of me, and dude, <laughs> Wilfin, <laughs> oh man, when the kid was questioning him, and I, I was like, dude, don't fuck up, don't fuck up, you better say the right thing, cause he he was like, I got cocky, I beat Yuppie so bad and so uh, so easily, um, I thought I could just come here and become king myself. Get revenge for the gyro and shit like that. But fuck, he if when that when the enemy came from his face, he started almost singing like damn canary. You're like, oh, oh, oh you just died in front of me. I didn't do anything to him. And fuck it, <laughs> I didn't do anything to him. I, 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 I tried to attack him and I attacked him and he was all right. Then he just rolled over in pain and just died. And uh, it was he was telling the truth because we see he said it, it seemed like he got a, a, a previous attack had effect on him and made him die. So that what happened. And so, uh, um, oh my god. So when the king was about to go to him and c continually uh, question him, poof, decide, okay, no, 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 I need to tell him something. Miriam, you need to pro follow the proper order. And the king looked back like, what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> that look was just, was just symbiotic. I was like, oh, man, that got to be a thumbnail. But the next thing happened was a damn thumbnail. When the king got pissed, like, you dare interrupt me <laughs> while I'm questioning him? You better have a good damn reason why you did that. And he's just, this aura was just high as shit. And, and I, can't, I still can't believe P2 said 
gone could uh, even a dog gone could keep, could beat him. I don't even see that shit. How, how he got just that, that damn powerful, but uh, how all that aura just came up. So uh, uh, I didn't really like. Okay, after that he talked to Poof a little more, and Poof he felt Poof's uh, loyalty and stuff to him, loyalty and madness and all that stuff to him, and he just stopped. And I didn't really like why he stopped and turned around and looked at Wolf and like I'm hungry. Like like I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't I, I didn't like it in the manga. I didn't like it here too much. I know I'm kind of, I'm somewhat nitpicking, but it just felt odd to me. It just felt out of place. I mean, he I know he did it for a reason. He did it for to scare Wolf and to telling him why he um and to tell Wolf and to tell the message just like that. So the next thing happened. Oh my God, Wolf and Wolf and. This motherfucker just hair, you just see it in the air, just flowing, just going, it's just just separate from shit like a damn dog in the summer, just going, his hair just flying away, and he was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, he's gonna kill me, I gotta say the right word, I can't say, look, Wolfram was so scared, he knew if the king would, was about to eat him and kill him, would kill him to eat him, I guess, whatever order we go in, uh, he was like, I can't say a sentence. I can't say a phrase. I can't say two words. I can't say nothing. I gotta say one word and to stop this shit. And he was like, and, and, and his face is in the all he's having an instant. His life flashed for his eyes. His pre, not only his life flashed for his eyes. His fucking previous life flashed for his eyes. And he was like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta say one word. And he was like, after he went from looking like a badass wolf to a damn pit bull. Uh, um, uh, he kind of like Pitbull the rapper too. Uh, and then he, he was like, <laughs> he was like, Kamugi. And when he said that, and the way the the uh voice actor said it, it was just beautiful. It, it, it was amazing. That just stuck out to me. I don't know why. It was just I don't know. It just stuck out to me. He was like, Kamugi. I was like, oh, this. And then the then the lights and the fucking effects that you see, it's just fucking amazing. It was just amazing, man. It's just, it, it just straight up just amazing. Just, I'm saying the animation has been beautiful this these last episodes. I'm not fanboying over, over that, but I'm give a fuck. So after that, the king finally realized, and we see this little symbolic thing, another thing. Uh, when the king pictures him and Kamugi playing Soji, and the uh and and Poof had his fucking side chick syndrome thing going on, like wow, I don't, I never stood a chance uh, of keeping the secret from you. Uh, you just love her more than you res you you care for your your um uh, uh your royal guards. So he's like fuck. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, this is how it felt like he felt. It seemed like Pooh thought he was the side, just felt like he was a side chick. Like how the side chick really, when she finally realized that she not that she, that she is a side chick. That's how it seemed like for him. So it was just funny to see that. And so it, <laughs> after that, we see character development with the king. He was like, you know what? Wilfin, uh, I'm not gonna kill you. You can go free now after you ask my question. Uh, and and, and Wilfin just quickly, okay, yeah, she's down there in uh, Beezus' office, uh, 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 <laughs> room D in the bed. Like that. Then just went very fucking detail where she fucking was. And it was just hilarious. But uh, after and then after that, Wilfin says, um, I want revenge for Gyro and all that stuff because for you killing him and all that stuff. I want revenge for him. And he was like, uh, okay, I'm not going to fight you, though. He's like, I'm not going to fight you. I hope you find him uh, 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 once you go free because I know he's not dead and stuff like that. And um, he also doesn't punish Poof. And then we see the, the narrator come in and say, this is what um, the terror was hinting at, that this guy is wavering between ant and human. And now he is more of a, of a compassionate human, not fully compassionate, but more of a compassionate human, like he used his 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 ultimate aura and his uh and, and use everybody else's fear against him for his own advantage of 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 uh, of doing that of getting the way he wanted and cuz he cuz he said going to eat Wolfen but then he didn't eat him he he threatened him to get an answer out of him now he probably didn't see him turn into Nav I mean yeah even Nav Nav had to be like look man at least I fuck it uh, 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 felt the aura, and it took me like some uh, hours and stuff to realize that I didn't have, I didn't have a damn chance. This motherfucker just in an instant went to, went from wolf to bulldog, but I mean, pit bull. So, oh yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, bulldog, yeah. So, uh, that's it. And then uh, I think next episode is the last episode of this arc, and then we're gonna take a week break. Then we're gonna start the election arc. I think that's how it's gonna go. 
So, um, review time. The episode was great. I love it. Um, uh, animation was on fucking point. Um, what, what else is that to talk about? Uh, is that a review? Um, story progression? Yes, we, yeah, of course we got uh, major story progression. Because um, now the king knows the secret. And now he's on his way down there to where Palm is. Uh, Palm and Ikargo is to um, get Kamugi or, or, or negotiate to get Kamugi back and all that stuff. So now we still know what, what happened, what's going on with Gon and Killer at the moment. They, they're, they're just walking back, I believe. So um, that's it for, so for, that, for the story progression part. And now we're going to see the king and com confront Palm Num for Kamugi. And so um, that's it. Uh, overall rating of the episode. Nine out, nine out of ten because uh, <laughs> but a few little things I didn't like about what was happening. Um, the, the few things I nitpick at the episode. But yeah, nine out of ten, great episode. Guys, check it out. Samurai King is out. If you like the video, give me a like down below. Be a little longer than I want it to be. Um, uh, subscribe always. Comment if you got something to say to me. Message me. Comment. Got something to say to me. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Find me on Twitter, say something to me there. Google Plus, say something to me there. And also share the video. So, that's it for Samurai King 8, and I'm out. See ya.